Today's video is about high uric acid levels and chronic kidney disease. So if you have kidney issues, this relates to you because we're talking about uric acid within kidney disease. So thanks for watching everybody. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor, living with a kidney transplant. Um, almost gonna pass uh, 18 years, coming up on 19, just in a couple days. And uric acid, okay, it's a part of nitrogen uh, metabolism, nitrogen breakdown. Your body creates uric acid. It's a normal part of production and your kidneys get rid of it. And when your kidneys are damaged, it can't get rid of the uric acid as effectively. And so uric acid levels can build up. And when those levels build up, they become more nephrotoxic. They become very bad for you and you lose kidney function. So first thing you need to do is get tested. See where your levels are at. So get tested. Make sure you see that uric acid test on the blood work. Don't assume your doctor's doing it. All the time I just keep hearing, well, my doctor said everything was okay. Yeah, for the couple of tests they run, but there's a lot of other tests that could be run. So just make sure you're getting that uric acid level tested. If it's elevated, you should be treated. And even if it's considered a high normal, like eight or above, you should consider uh, getting treated for it. So prescription wise, there are a couple of drugs that you can use, um, two main ones on the market, there's a few others. That's something to discuss with your doctor. And I'm really gonna recommend that you may wanna really consider a medication. You probably have to use a medication to get the uric acid levels down with kidney disease. I have not seen any research, any studies, and I haven't seen anyone um, get their uric acid levels down naturally by itself when there's kidney disease present because the kidneys are just, they're damaged, okay? They, they can't do the job uh, that they were doing if they were healthy. So you most likely, almost always gonna need a medication. I've never personally seen it or seen research, okay? But if you're looking to take less medication, you're looking to complement your medication, maybe the medication's not working as effectively, a couple things that you can add to your to your treatment plan. So the Journal of Nutrients, August 15th, 2019, they gave a couple of complementary options. They gave through they went through a lot of different nutrients with different benefits. And these are the three that they recommend. So curcumin, okay, we love curcumin. It's an extract of turmeric. I have videos on here and just about curcumin. So if you really want to take curcumin, reference our other videos. The magic number is about 1,500 milligrams a day you want to take is usually going to be like three pills of a good product. You want to make sure it's a curcumin extract. There's a lot of different extracts out there, but I have other another video on just on curcumin and kidney disease. So another thing that you can take is vitamin C. They talked about how vitamin C was very beneficial. Okay? It helps convert um, some of that uric acid to, to not being as harmful. So a lot of different types of vitamin C on the market. The one I'm going to recommend is ester C. Okay, it's ester C. Um, it's a patented type of vitamin C that's very well absorbed, non-acidic, okay, easy on the digestive system. 500 to 1,000 milligrams you can take in that area. 500, very safe, uh, very conservative dose. You can go upwards of 1,000. Some studies use a little higher, but I'm, I, I'm more cautious with vitamin C in kidney disease. So ester C, 500, 1,000. Okay, next one's L-arginine. Okay, it's an amino acid. When you take amino acids, it's preferred to take them on an empty stomach or a food without protein like fruit. So L-arginine, uh, what they recommend, varying doses, 1,500 upwards of 3,000 milligrams a day. So 1,500 to 3,000 milligrams per day. So with your medication, you can take these three natural supplements and you should get an improved benefit, okay? More support for your kidneys, healthier uric acid levels, and just healthier overall. So thanks for watching everyone. We have hundreds of other videos about how to support kidney health naturally, holistically, and even what you need to do conventionally. Thanks for watching. Bye.